It was when I read this Texas Monthly article about the Michael Morton case, um, it just, it struck so deeply within me, I think because this was a man who was accused of killing his wife, wrongfully accused and, 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 uh, and convicted of killing his wife, but they had a child. And in this masterfully told story in Texas Monthly, they talk about how in the beginning of his imprisonment, his son would come and visit. And over a period of time, in his being in prison wrong, wrongly for so long, the son stopped coming. And so the notion of even the son giving up on this man, I couldn't sleep, man. I just couldn't, like, it stayed in my soul, in my heart, in my head. I was haunted by the notion of prison being hell and the idea of what it would feel like to know you didn't commit the crime you were there for and languishing and losing precious life, losing years, losing, losing time, which is, you know, at a premium for any of us. And um, I, I, that's, that motivated me, you know. I mean, simply, I tried to do what I can whenever I can, you know, uh, related to what my schedule allows or what the, the, the location that I'm, I'm in allows. Um, it's, it's something that is, is of growing import to me on a personal level. To be able to provide some sort of assistance and, and a way into making, you know, uh, justice, criminal justice reform happen, uh, you know, those, those things are, are uh, I, I get a lot, I get as much satisfaction out of that as I do uh, occupational successes. There's so many different ways through entertainment, through these mediums we can access people. What I was so surprised shortly after my involvement with Innocence Project was when I would post about the organization and the responses I got back from people saying, I didn't know this organization existed. Just that reach through social media and people paying attention to what you have to say, that's how acting, that's how being an actor, I think for me, uh, affects my involvement most directly. It's great when there is that overlap. Um, for instance, right now I have a series coming out about, uh, I play a, a veteran um, of the Marines, and right now I'm doing a ton of work with veterans charity, and it's completely it's a passion of mine and it's also connected to the work that I'm putting out in the public. I mean, that's, that's ideal. And I want to look for things like that, that I can associate and connect to Innocence Project. And it's also funny that a year or two ago, I had a series on the air called Secrets and Lies, where I played a guy who was, who was wrongfully accused of a murder. And a lot of people thought that's where my involvement with Innocence started. You know, they thought that because of playing that character, I found my way into this organization when in fact I had already been involved for a couple of years, but to have that overlap allows the opportunity to, to talk about these issues that are important to me without it being preachy or without it feeling like, uh, you know, there's a natural connection to the work uh, that I do on screen and to the work I'm, I'm trying to do off screen. Pretty much anything and everything that the, that the organization would want me to do, you know, that's, that's really what my, my passion is and that's really where my heart is. It's really spreading the word. I think that, you know, there's a lot of competition even in, amongst, even in the charity community, you know, to get people's attention and to get their financial support. And um, if I can be one who's, who's a voice for, for innocence and, and for the work they're doing, um, I'm going to speak up as loudly as I can. <laughs>